Hello, my name is Laura Secord. I'm a poet. I live in Birmingham, Alabama, and I've learned hand embroidery through Bib and Tucker Sew Up. I am speaking today about my quilt square for the March Quilts, Year 6, Laura Nelson's Transformation. My inspiration for this quilt square came from a poem I was assigned to write by the poet Patricia Smith in my MFA course in 2015. Up until that day, I was mostly unaware of the mass of lynchings that plagued black citizens in this country. Patricia showed us the photo of Laura Nelson and her son Lawrence murdered by lynching at the Schoolton Bridge in Okama, Oklahoma. She asked us to take the photo and create something beautiful in our poem. I entered the poem from the perspective of the young black man who discovered their bodies. From the words of the Okama Ledger, May 25, 1911, the ghastly spectacle was discovered this morning by a Negro boy taking his cow to water. Here is a part of that poem. Dawn Witness. Muddy river before dawn, sky scraped white like chicken feathers, his sack filled with greens and wild onions, foraging, his spotty cow with him, wandering the bank. Near the bridge, rounding the bend, he thinks he sees Aunt Laura, Cousin Lawrence, walking on air. Or are they flying against the sky, flashing streaks in rosy color? LaShonda Crow Storm challenged us to create something beautiful for Lawrence Nelson as we worked on our quilt squares that day in January, as Bob, Bib and Tucker joined with UAB in the Lynch Quilts projects just weeks before the pandemic changed our lives. As I began this five-inch square after six months in lockdown, I found myself returning to the challenge and decided to give Laura Nelson the wings she is due. I made her a vulture, earth magic symbol of purity, renewal, and transformation. Her flying bird self also reminded me of the stories of slaves taking flight as told by Toni Morrison in Song of Solomon. I use metallic and neon threads to stitch her feathers as she breaks out of her tattered skirt and beside a busted and fraying noose. Thank you.